this one should be a piece of cake. Mm. Oh, well, I guess there are other people auditioning, too. Oh, is your child up for the milk syrup commercial, too? You have no way of knowing this, but the mom is down to dress up. Oh, thank you. And you have no way of knowing that my son is the Scooter's peanut butter kid. That's cute. My son had a gun waved in his face in a Dexter episode. Are you guys talking about your kids? My daughter is the American Apparel slut baby. My son got cast on in the last Jackass movie. <laughs> Everyone here is so talented. Hi, everybody. We're a little crunched for time, so we're going to have to watch nope. the show right here in the hallway. <laughs> you, do something exceptional. Uh, okay. It was humiliating is what it was. That woman just smiled when Stewie banged his balls on the floor. Damn disaster. Nom, 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 nom. Shut up. Knock over. Did you see those other kids? They were amazing. One of them was texting with a funny dumb kid from Modern Family. I got a text with that kid. Holy Christmas, there were a lot of hot moms in yoga pants in there, though. Dear me, they're really disappointed in me, Rupert. I haven't seen the fat man this upset since he went to the 9-11 museum. Huh? Lois made us do this, but I wanted to go to the Central Park merry-go-round. We have time to do both! What the hell? Okay, that's great, that's great, that's great. Just one question, Stewie. Do you get pleasure out of humiliating your family? Yeah, is there some kind of sick joy in it? Why can't it just be Pierce Brosnan? Pierce Brosnan's what I got this. In a heartbeat! It's three in the morning. What the hell are you guys doing? What does huh? it look like? We're practicing. Stewie has another audition tomorrow, and we're not going to be embarrassed like we were today. See, this is the kind of thing I was talking about. Look at him, he can barely stand up. That's why I made this. I call it eight-hour energy. It's one part five-hour energy. The other three hours are espresso, scotch turf filler, and a tiny, tiny, super small amount of cocaine. Just a little bit. I can't stress the littleness of it enough. <laughs> Whoa, mama, there's a kick like a mule. Who am I this wonderful morning? Such a sky you never can see. Oh, yeah, yeah, that magic. Here, you're giving your baby drugs to improve his acting career? No, oh, he's fine with it. Stewie, if you're fine with it, bleed from the nose. I think that's pretty close. All right, Stewie, you remember what we practiced last night. And here's a trick to keep that confidence up. You go in that room and imagine everyone in it wants you sexually. I'm doing it right now. You feel powerful. Okay. And don't forget, if you screw this up, Mommy's going to kill all of your toys. Okay. All right, now I'm going to go psych out these other kids. Hey, little guy. Nervous? Sure, yeah. yeah. Here's something that might help you. Uh, hey, little guy. Stewie Griffin? Oh, right here. Wait, I can't hit the boost. Give him some of the acting soup. <laughs> I want to say curse words! Okay, Stewie. You're just going to drink this juice, then say, mmm, and rub your belly. Yeah, yeah, you got it. <laughs> yeah, my juice! That was amazing. I got goosebumps. I want them sexually. Well, Mom, Dad, I think we've got our new orange juice boy. Did this guy really think we're his parents? Still we got the pot? Yes! Voice-activated 3D printer. Where the hell do you need a 3D printer? Print Coyote. <laughs> I can't make an attack you, Ryan, but if I keep printing them, eventually one will go after you. That money is supposed to be for Stewie's college. He's an actor, you idiot. He doesn't need college. I just don't think any of this is good for Stewie. It's great for Stewie. He's becoming a star. Yeah, 
It's rat. You mean this must be what it's like to be Anne Hathaway's parents? Oh, that's Anne's color. Ugh. Hey, Stewie, can I talk to you? What are you doing? I don't know. Mom and Dad just uh, stuck a book on my head and, and left. Stewie, look at you! You're a wreck! And for what? So Peter and Lois can spend the money you earned on crap they don't even need? Uh, I'm not supposed to use my voice for non-paying stuff, Brian. This is insane! You've got to stop! Uh, stop worrying. I'm fine. Besides, the fat man knows what he's doing. No, he doesn't. He's an idiot. Remember, he couldn't even figure out how to use a hotel business center. So, what business are you in? Oh, I'm just here to look at other people's emails who haven't logged out. And how's business? And I've left some pretty wild replies on a bunch of e-bikes. Look at this. I'm bringing 53 guests. You're the coolest guy. I've ever met one of these things. <laughs> oh, hey. You caught me pigging out. I'm dipping this celery stalk into some lemon water. But don't freak out. I'm just going to smell it and then throw it in the trash. Dewey, this has gotten out of control. If you're going to continue on this path, you need to know what your future holds. Being a child actor almost never ends well. Remember that kid from A Christmas Story who got his tongue stuck to that pole? Yeah, whatever happened to him? I'll tell you what happened to him. He did porn. Boner from Growing Pains? Dead. Screech from Saved by the Bell? Porn. Corey Haim? Dead. Dana Plato? Porn, then dead. Oh, no, this is horrible! You see, Stewie, there are tons of actors like this. They all started out just like you, but eventually they were destroyed by their parents' greed, drugs, or perverted Hollywood directors. Oh, like Brian Singer! Exactly. The point is, it's a dark path. My God, I had no idea it could be so bad! Brian, I don't want to act anymore! Good. Then we just gotta make Peter and Lois understand. Yes, well, if they want to make me into a monster like those people, we'll give them a monster. Like when Godzilla attacked Hades. <laughs> that orange juice, you're going to drink it and smile, and really show us that energy from your audition. Oh, hold on a second, he's got a smudge on his face. Let me just take care of that for you guys. Here, drink this. Uh -huh. Put a little molly in there, too, so we'll go out club it afterwards. Hey, you want this? Sure, I'll drink anything. All right, action. As a mom, I want my kids to start their day right. And there's no better way than with a glass of fresh, squeezed Sunnydale orange juice. Isn't that right, sweetie? Shut up, little bitch! I'll tell you what I want fresh squeezed. These! What the hell? What the hell's he doing? He's blowing this! Oh, here's what I think of this orange juice. I can't, I can't, I can't go right now with everybody watching. But, but I presume you understand the disrespect I intended. Oh my god, he's having a meltdown! You don't suppose this has anything to do with the sleep deprivation and narcotics? Oh. You know, what have we been thinking? It's us. We're the ones who turned him into this. Get this kid out of here. He's fired. Well done. Not a bad performance. Thank you, Brian. I thought oh, there's the poop. Right now. Oh, Stewie. Mommy and Daddy are so sorry. I guess we just got too caught up in your success and forgot that you're just a baby. You were right, Brian. I guess we pushed Stewie a little too hard. The good news is that now he can go back to being a regular kid. Why are you winking at our baby, you creep? God, that's weird. I don't want to ever see that happen again. Now, we went a little crazy there, didn't we, Peter? But I'm glad we have our normal, very average, non-famous baby now. You know, I was once a very famous baby. Were you, Peter? Yeah. But you see how easy it is for me to lie to you? Do it every day. Anyway, it looks like everything worked out for the best. You know, Ryan, that acting stuff was a bit much for me, but I did quite enjoy the dancing and the cocaine. Yeah? Yep. So you're just going to be a dancer and a drug addict? For a while. I might crash when I'm 18, but then I'll just turn to the Lord and working out. I'll, I'll just be a 180-degree different type of insufferable. I used to need drugs to feel powerful, but now my power comes from my core strength. And let's look at that word, strength. with the 
Yeah. Okay, Bonnie. One, two, three, push. <laughs> My God, I can walk. It's a miracle. Sorry, Dad. Just get the chair. They might brown eye view with that one. Yeah, the next one's coming for your head. Oh, no. No, help. Oh, help. What the hell? Hey, Chris, you want to race? Any market check? Go. First one to the market where that Pakistani girl fell through the ice after coming to the States to get treatment for her severely burned face, which she got when the man she refused to marry dumped sulfuric acid on her wings. I win. Yes. Yes. In your face. In your face. In my face. In my face. <laughs> Hey guys, what do you want, Meg? I'm here to try out for cheerleading. Peter Rabbit would be wise to stay out of Mr. McGregor's garden. Why don't you try the Flag Girl Squad? Are you trying out for Flag Girl? Sword the Bloom. Yes, I win again, Andy. Come on, mate. One more before the missus notices I'm not snoozing on the couch. Too late! Hey, careful, quiet guy. Don't, don't get too close to that thing. The hell, that is getting laid? Nice game, Peter. Yeah, I'm on a roll. I whipped Chris on the ice today. Took time before he beats you. What are you talking about? I'm better than him at everything. You name it. Sports, video games, even magic tricks. <laughs> got your nose. Oh, yeah? Well, I got your face. <laughs> ah! 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 Calm down, Chris. It's only a trick. Face it, Peter. Sooner or later, you're going to have to pass the torch. I remember the first time Kevin beat me. I was so proud of him. I gave him a little congratulatory punch in the arm. I mean, level. And then everything got a little hazy. Kevin went to live with a foster family for a while. Anyway, it's inevitable. I don't feel bad, Joe. I, I think I know why you shouldn't be kicked. Yeah, apparently, you're a you're a 12 year old prepubescent girl, which is good because I feel like I have something to get this training brought to. There you go, Josephina. You feel good on your new budding bosoms? Yeah, yeah. It's your dad. Get the hell off of me! Well, Rudolph, we finally figured out what makes your nose red. Huh? Is it pixie dust or, or leprechaun tail? No, it's a tumor. You mean like a magical Christmas tumor? No, a malignant tumor. The base of which is lodged deep within your brain. Oh. Like a happy special... You're going to die. Hey, everybody, guess what I am. The end result of a... I'm on the Black Girl Squad! Oh, honey, congratulations! Hey, Chris, I bet you can't do this. <laughs> Again. We perform at all the football games. I'm practically a cheerleader. Oh, man, that's wonderful. Oh, isn't that wonderful, Peter? Yeah, way to go, Stewie. All right, Chris, I'll see you at a fork and raise you a gravy ladle. <laughs> you're on. So, uh, you're a flag girl. That's great, Meg. Yeah, yeah. Now you can be someone else when the boys don't call. <laughs> Salt shaker up the nose. I got pepper. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I win. That was fun, Dad. I'm the man. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Lois, uh, go, go get the medical dictionary and, and look up fork and lung. Why? Time's a factor, Lois. <laughs> Hey, Meg, looking sharp. You want to go out after the game today? Me? I'm a flag girl now. I'm way too cool to be seen with you. Really? Not even if I smoke this corn cob pipe? Tonight, we... Oh, you made flag girl. Huh? Yeah, so this morning, you made know, like, Meg, don't forget your lunch. And I'm all like, Mom, I'm a flag girl. She's all like, Meg, don't forget your half time routine at the game. Ugh, moms. Hey, maybe we could all, like, hang out after the game. Go team! Uncool people are like animals. Hey, 
Hey, you wanna go feed the science club after school? What's wrong? I'm trying to make love to you when you're thinking about Chris. Hey, now, is there something you need to tell me? Thanks to you, our son has a huge wang. Thanks to me? Well, he didn't get it from me. What are you talking about? I'll show you. All right, stand back, Lois. Oh, my. Well, no wonder he's always slouching. How the hell did this happen? I'm supposed to be the man of the house. You must be so ashamed of me. Peter, I care as much about the size of your penis as you care about the size of my breasts. Oh, my God! Meg, honey, you can't let those awful kids get to you. Oh, they won't, because I'm never going back to that school again. Um, Dad, after dinner, could you help me with my algebra? Hey, you're a big man. You'll figure it out. You know, I bet there's a part of you that really wants to be friends with them. Maybe. So be nice to them. Win your enemies over with unflappable kindness. Uh, no! No more milk for him, Lois. He's had enough. Give me that. Uh, Megan, you must try the brisket. Allow me to serve it in the manner to which you're accustomed. <coughs> Come talk to me sometime, sweetheart. I know what it takes to be cool. She packed my bags. Last night, free flight. Zero hour. 9 a.m. And I'm gonna be high as a kite by then. And I think it's gonna be a long, long time. Touchdown brings me around again to find. I'm not the man. I thought he was eating the fish. Oh, no. No, no. Look how cute the I'm baby rocket is. Rocket man. Burn out his fuse out here. Alone. And I think 
It's gonna be a long, long to find. I'm not the man they think I am at home. Oh, no, no, no. I'm a rock it man. Rocket man. Burn out his views out here. Push the janitor knowing he can't legally push us back? Sure. Lots of okay, cool. Cool. Let's right. Let's go, go, man. Hey, Dad, bring these little bananas. <laughs> oh, you smug little bastard. And there's nothing wrong with them. In fact, a lot of women prefer them to normal sized bananas because they're exotic and flavorful and very, very special. Oh, yeah, sure, Lois. All the sorority girls are clamoring for the plantain section. Stop with this. Look, Peter, you're overreacting to this mm. stuff. I mean, I mean, mine goes inside of me when I stand up. How do you think I feel? Is Dad mad at me? Oh, of course not, honey. Now go pick out a box of cereal and meet me at the 10 inches of less line. I am. Nice, huh? Yeah? Yeah. You like this? Stop it. Peter, you're embarrassing me. Look, I know you're upset, but... Oh, my God. Where's Stewie? He's around. <sighs> Let me out of this stink-filled corduroy dungeon! Peter, that's sick! It's okay. He's outside the underwear. Enjoy your new car, Mr. Griffin. Thanks, Jim. <laughs> When you pull that thing into your garage, does the garage say, is it, is it in yet? <laughs> That's stupid. Hey, Stuart, you're the man. Hey, turn off the light. I'm reading a ghost story. 